Aloha Transpac fans, I'm Allie Bell and this is your July 6 update. The big news today is Orion and Maserati have finished. Check out some footage from Orion. quick look at the tracker. This is the YB tracker sponsored by Pesha Hawaii with the report as of about 10 a.m. Pacific time on July 6th. The fleet is starting to compress. It's been a bit on the light side so the Saturday starters are still playing catch up but it is becoming more difficult to see exactly where the split is between the start days. In general navigators have opted for the most direct route into Hawaii until farther down the race course and then they have played the breeze a little north of that route. As of this report, the Santa Cruz 52 Westerly in Cabrillo Boatworks Division 5 is winning both her division and the overall race. I caught up with Westerly today. Here's what they have to say. Indeed, the sun is out and uh, we are more tropically uh, dressed. We have our valleys off and uh, the boys are working hard. And so uh, we're wearing our, um, what do they call those things, uh, UPF uh, uh, shirts to keep the sun under control and uh, wicking shirts uh, to keep us cool. So it's very nice, very nice out here. We just wish it was a little windier. A little more wind would be nice. <laughs> How much wind are you seeing right now? Oh, uh, you know, it's in the middle, uh, middle of the range, lower middle of the range again, between the 10 and 20. It's, we just wish, you know, we like 20. Yeah. <laughs> Denali 3 is projected to be the first monohull to finish early in the morning on July 8th. They are in Ocean Navigator Division 4, are winning that division, and are in second overall close behind Westerly. The Saturday starters are in less than optimal breeze. Good Energy is leading Cal Maritime Division 1. Zero Gravity 51 is leading SD Boatworks Division 2. And Pie Wacket is leading Whittier Trust Division 3. As of this report, these boats are estimated to finish early next week. Some of my friends have been asking, what are they eating on board? Well, let's compare the breakfast of Groundhog Day Racing. Mmm. Brown sugar or strawberry? Pop starts for breakfast. <laughs> and good energy. Breakfast, day four, once again, prepared by Super Mike. Mm. Pedro. Thank you. Wow. Nice presentation. <laughs> Finally, let's hop aboard Hula Girl as they romp down the course. Tomorrow's going to be a relatively quiet day for our volunteers on the Honolulu Committee, and we owe them a huge debt of gratitude for everything they do to make our racers feel welcome in Honolulu, and that starts way before the race. They get the birthing organized, they throw the welcome parties, they man the shack, they take photos, they do everything that's necessary to make sure everybody gets the aloha welcome they deserve after crossing the ocean. Our next round of finishers should be finishing early, early in the morning on July 8th, and then we'll have a very steady stream from then on out. We will see you tomorrow.